My name is Andreas Supliotis. I'm the founder and chief executive officer of Ayuda Media Systems. We develop and sell software to the at-home industry. We manage proposals, invoicing, contracts, billing, and we do the whole digital signage piece as well. What we're showing at this show, at this DSC, is a concept demonstration. This is how we think digital at home might be sold in the future. We call it Nirvana. Nirvana is an ad server. If you think about it, ad servers haven't really hit the digital at home market yet. People are still setting up playlists, people are still setting up loops and selling fixed spots in loops. If you think about how the online model works, the internet is sold very differently. Ad servers essentially move and shift the creative around from website to website depending on behavioral patterns such as cookies in the browser and so forth. We're trying to do the same thing. So let's start with setting up a campaign in Nirvana. And what we've got here is a sample campaign for Apple. So we're setting up an Apple iWatch campaign and we have the start, the end dates, we have impressions that we're trying to target and these are targeted impressions, I'll get to that in a second. You set your CPM so you can actually have like a daily budget. And why this is important is because your daily budget is the average amount you're comfortable on spending and eventually once that's depleted, it will stop serving your ad. This is exactly how the online model works. You can specify whether you want to have ads shown evenly over time or if you want to have them accelerated until your budget is reached. You specify the markets that you're interested in and in addition, this is where the interesting stuff starts. You can choose a demographic. So this pulls from the TEB out of home ratings. And you can specify things like you know, African American or household income and so forth. And you can choose your values and choose multiple TEB out of home ratings demographics. We can also do things like reach and frequency. Now what things get really, really different is when we add behaviors to the mix. And this is where you, know, you might ask, well, where do you get this kind of data from? How do you actually build this kind of profile? I'll get to that in a second. Things like moviegoers and affluent customers. We can also target people that have specific Twitter hashtags and follow what's trending on Twitter. And we're going to try and shift the creative around while the campaign is running so that we can tap into big data and be intelligent about where the creative goes. So what we've got here now is a simulated scenario of four different billboards. Now you might remember the campaign that I just set up is the Apple iWatch campaign and it's running in this billboard. At the bottom you get to see the loop and you get to see the spot that's playing in the loop. So you've got the Apple iWatch that's playing inside this loop. So you've got four different billboards with different locations. This one is facing the wind. This is facing city center. This is the facing in and out. And this is where the Las Vegas airport is located. So four different billboards with four different loops and the Apple iWatch is playing inside this loop which is on a board facing in and out. So now let's go into the big data analysis piece. And this builds upon a lot of the work that we've done with Cerebro a year ago. Cerebro is essentially an optimization algorithm that can automatically accept inputs and uh, campaign objectives and then build a media plan accordingly. But usually our clients run Cerebro 28 days ahead of time and they plan a campaign. Wouldn't it be cool if Cerebro could automatically re-crunch itself as the campaign is running and intelligently change its mind about which digital billboards are more relevant to the demographic? And that's what this does. What we do is we tap into what's trending on Twitter. We tap into what's trending on Foursquare. And if you look carefully here, you've got these red push pins, these are the three push pins that are the three billboards that you just saw and the green push pin, which is right here, is facing the in and out because that's where the Apple iWatch campaign is running. So Apple iWatch campaign playing here and these are the other three billboards. Now if I take out my phone and let's say I, I, we've created this simulated app here that simulates um, check-ins into Foursquare of 100 people checking in, or 50, or 500, I'm going to do a 10-person check-in, let's say, to the Las Vegas airport. To a if I do that, notice it says checking in, checking in has been successful, and now what you'll notice is if you pay close attention to over here, you will see, oh, people have just checked in 
to the Las Vegas McCarran Airport. And what happens is the creative will then shift to the creative, to the digital billboard that is right near the airport. And if you notice, at the actual loop, over here, it's going to leave. Watch it, it's gonna happen. It's gonna, now it's, this iWatch is facing the in and out. Well, in a second, the It's Time Apple iWatch creative will move to the LAS Las Vegas airport. And there it goes. Because it realized, Nirvana realized, there was a huge change in the population density. So we're shifting around the creative. And if you go back here now, you'll see it's the Las Vegas airport has the green pushman because that's where the new creative got shifted to. An important element of ad servers on the internet is also reporting afterwards, analytics and insights on how well the campaign performed. And we have that as well. So this is an analytics and insights page that shows you things such as your daily impressions, your daily spend, cumulative impressions, and all kinds of interesting information such as number of Foursquare check-ins close by, and tweets as well. Now the internet has been doing this for years. If you buy a campaign on the internet, think about banner advertising, you're not buying spots in loops and day parts the way that we do today for digital at a home. Instead, there's an algorithm, an ad server, that automatically determines how to shift around the creative to target the demographic that the advertiser wanted to target. That's what we're trying to replicate here. Um, you know, we target this to be a single company ad server, meaning we're not trying to build this so that it could span multiple companies at the same time. We think that that's an interesting scenario. There's a lot of companies doing exciting work on that, but I think a stepping stone along the way is having these large digital billboard operators running their own ad server because they want control over their inventory and their rates. They're a little bit concerned about being part of a cross aggregate um, ad serving network. So do you think this is an intermediate stepping stone uh, and it's a concept demo. Do I think that out of home is going to be sold this way next year? No. Do I think this is going to happen three years from now? Possibly. Do I think five years from now? I do. I do believe that digital out of home will become smarter. It'll tap into big data and the campaign will be more effectively choosing where to actually shift the creative around. And that's what Nirvana is. Very cool. Wonderful. Thank you. So that was very interesting. We always love coming and seeing you guys at IUTA, number one. But number two, we know you've been coming to the show a lot and exhibiting. How has this show this year been for you guys? This, we've been here for five years. We've been exhibiting for five. This is the best year ever in terms of turnout and in terms of quality of people that we're seeing coming to the show. Um, you've got everybody showing up from the digital schedulers to the sales staff as well, right up to the C-level executives. And we've seen everybody that we wanted to see. It's been a great show. Best one ever. Love to hear that, and we can't wait to see you next year. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.